since this long hard shaft was Reach's idea, does that mean this base is giving us the Reach around? Oh my oh. god! Welcome back, everybody. Next episode of ICG Grades, and boy, we're not kidding. Reach really has given us the reach around here. Uh, again. Get uh, shit thrown at me. So what we've got here is one of the last few bits of remaining stainless steel in the world. Now, if you're not familiar with stainless steel, and this isn't something you can come across legitimately anymore, it is ridiculously durable 10,000 durability total and there's a whole big pole of it right here the basic idea of this being that because this material was so stupid when it was usable it was essentially impossible for the zeds to break anything made out of it down i think reach demonstrated pretty conclusively that this works solo what we wanted to know is whether or not it could hold up to a giant multiplayer horde because if there's one thing we do well It's giant multiplayer hordes. So you want to know if the long hard shaft can take a gangbang? Yes. Yes. Wait, no. You started a joke, now finish it, sir. <laughs> Just like the reach around. Just god. <laughs> The nice part about this is it's cheap as shit. Supplies needed build difficulty, we didn't build it. <laughs> That's a negative Yay. on both. The only thing I've done, out of deference for the fact that our hordes are going to be much larger than the one he tested with, I've added two additional ladders to the tracking up this platform just because the one here didn't seem like it was going to be destined well for a giant horde. I strengthened the bridge from the building to the platform here, where this was a broken metal catwalk thing, and I gave him a solid shot. We have, like he did, pulled up the stairs and we're gonna sit up here basically throwing molotovs and shooting anybody that comes in remember we run 64 deep at warrior that's level three sort of an average testing level so if it holds up here odds are it'll hold up pretty well anywhere else there's a joke in there somebody needs to make about if it take if it can take 64 guys no no no, <laughs> no. also i had to these two little corner things on so i could Put some turrets up. Let's get X to drop his pants and see if we can fit this whole thing up there. I mean, let's see how she does. I was okay with either one. That was X. <laughs> his pants are... <laughs> He's pantsless and he has the cowboy hat on. Yeah. <laughs> Magic Mike, is that you? Do I need some liquor for this too then? Uh, depends on how much more naked you want to get. Not much more naked I can get. You still got the hat on, Big Daddy. I just realized that we inadvertently scheduled Reach's thing for day 70. Well... If we're gonna get shafted by him, now's the day, right? Yo, yep. oh, no, let him pass. Let him pass. This is the interesting part because they're like they're over there just wailing on that building. That building is not even really connected to this. So we need to eliminate the spitters down here. I don't know. Stainless steel is tough, but it's not invulnerable. We don't need three cops spitting on it all evening. That's what she said. Steve Carell owns. That's what she said. He owns it. Now they seem to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. All right. Although there's a lot of them in that opposite building just standing there smacking on the brick wall, so... Let's, uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a little tour here and see who's standing where. Uh, we got traffic galore in here doing dumb shit. <laughs> and, yeah, more traffic galore. They're routing up these broken stairs in here. Um, yeah, there is a ton of them in this building and they have no idea what they're doing. So just the complexity of this whole water plant gets you lit on fire oh. by duel. Yeah, those junk turrets are, are like doing the bulk of the work. Well, there's so little traffic actually coming up the platform here. Like they're just right. being stupid inside. They do eventually seem to route out. I've seen a cum come running out of seen that door. Cum cum. I've seen a cum. I've seen a cum. I've been playing this game with duel. I have seen cum. What, what game is that? All of them. The, the one in Super Meat Boy was weird, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little off-putting. <laughs> yeah, after building Dead Side, this M60 is just unimaginably stable. Right. Mm -hmm. Dead Side's a great game, but uh, damn do those guns just... It would it would be everywhere. nice if your guy didn't have the DTs. That game's version of holding your breath to stabilize your aim is what most people would consider the midst of an epileptic seizure. So why don't you check it out with us, guys? We have our own server. Now that we've really upsold it. I'm in weird spots now. Like crawling across the like roof the like butt? cockroaches. <laughs> the butt. What, what? In the butt. What, so he's what? got one of those, like... Multi-use flashlights? No, it's just dual chambered. I don't mean that it has two chambers. I mean that it's chambered after dual. The molding process was a bit. That was very it. expensive. Get, get your very own hard. flashlight at duels, man. I don't, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> where are you listed? I don't know, but there's a business venture here that Duel and I need to discuss afterwards. Our Patreon's going to get weird. <laughs> oh, wait, you want to buy in? Nobody else has offered. I, I just need what? a... Uh, I, 
a prototype of every model you make. For personal research purposes? What a lot of people don't know is your butthole changes year after year, so you need to make a new model each year. Don't even know how to... Yeah, I, this has <laughs> gone so far off the rails. I... So, in, in other news, the base is holding up great. Reach has got five guys riding a shaft right now, and it's holding up like a champ. Final grade, Riley Reed. <laughs> Hyper Perry? <laughs> Hyper Perry. <laughs> <laughs> On a semi-serious, but not really, because we wouldn't... I don't know if we'd ever actually be able to do who would buy Fistered merch? Should we even legally make that? I don't know. Probably. I love us, and I, I don't think I'm gonna wear a Get Feast of uh, Get Fistered T-shirt <laughs> out. Fistered. Get Fistered. That's our Thanksgiving version. Happy Fistmas. Really died down a bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're probably just like. Oh, there's a demo. That building. If they're changing directions, it's gonna take you an hour to change directions, and no. Uh -oh. Fuck. Kill he's that. Dead, that'll. He's dead. Boom. That would be a problem. My magnum was not doing very much there. I usually have trouble with magnums anyway, they're a little snug. They stretch perfectly fine and you know it. You can fit you a baby a inside a normal one. Why you know that, I don't know. Some things have to be tested. And also, that I, is not I, some things, sir. I had a little brother, what do you want from me? Wait, did they have you or you had? Shouldn't? Hang on a second, back up. <laughs> I mean, I had objections, I have objections to this day. Finally have gotten a decent pathing coming out of this building up here. They must have broke through something on the stairs or something inside and decided that yeah, was the yeah. path. We were just like screaming into the building, up the stairs, and out here. Which, sure, one at a time in a line. Well, what that means is if you wanted to do a second night out here, you could go inside and just add a bunch of random crap to sort of you know, screw up their pathing some again. And this building is so weird and complicated inside. I mean, I'll take you guys through a quick look, but this building is goofy to say the least. There's oh, multiple yeah. levels. There's a giant basement under this. Whatever methodology they're using to path here, God knows. Once they get up to this part, this is a fairly straight shot, so... Uh -oh. And then your dipshit friends set off a demo and bring the whole thing down, and you kind of yeah. got to deal with that, but you take them as they come. I don't know what they're going to do now, because they don't have a path to us. Well, in this instance, we very much, because we didn't spend anything building this place. If I build that little platform, our supplies needed is still a hard A. Skeptical face. Okay, you use 10 blocks of concrete in your bases as cosmetics. My thousand and one blocks all have a function. Except for the ones that you use to, you know. That's just leftover dual. That's the dual chambered fleshlight. 1995. That's a cheap flashlight. That's just a sponge in a Ziploc bag. It's a, it's, I nope. consider it a flesh hole. <laughs> it, it's two bags of uh, uh, minestrone oh. soup wrapped around a, uh, a cup. What we got here is a brown paper bag filled with clam chowder. Ace leg duel. Coming up next on the ICG sex toy line, it's a blendy filled with weak old Italian wedding soup. Oh. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. What happens if we let him come to us and try to make that jump? They try. This turn turn into a natural killing corridor. Kinda. Yep. They're looping. This is very killing corridor esque. A few of them are trying to beat on the pillar down below. The rest are doing a jacked up pathing, and then a few are getting lost and wailing on the fences that came as part of this building. I'd rather do this for free than try to build something that got the same results. Hey, and you can still repair this stainless steel. Forge steel patches this up still. They haven't changed that. Thought I'd double check it. You never know for a twenty. I don't know about y'all, but this seems like kind of a game over. Uh, honestly, I mean, we'll finish the night clearly, but if yeah. this stainless steel tower is infinitely repaired and they're doing this poorly against it on day 70 on day 70 no less this is another one of those ideas where all base design kind of goes out the window because this does everything you need it to do essentially for free I mean, if you wanted to get super spicy you could even drain this the top of this tower out and put some you know like workbenches and stuff in here like it's not going to be a big base but you could probably get a crafting bench in a single forge in here without much difficulty and at least give you something to do 326 this building is going to be full of shit for a while all right, that's the Horde Knight. Keep track of your ammo and let's uh, finish the cleanup. How did our tower held up? Now, I repaired that one block just to check it. And the rest of these, worst case scenario, we're looking at still above half by a few hundred. So this was in no real danger of coming down. It took a beating. It took a beating that would have taken out concrete blocks. A lot of that is because they spent so much of the evening wasting time inside and around this building. The pathing here was just jacked from start to finish. They had no idea how to get to us. With the number of fitters we got, uh, they did 
managed to melt a large part of the parking lot, though. They melted a good chunk of the parking lot. They melted some of the catwalk up off the tower, but the tower itself is safe, so the catwalk is largely cosmetic if you wanted to do a repeat night. Come through and give yourself a new catwalk. Nothing too serious there. That's cheap. You could do it out of wood, cobblestone, whatever. Durability, I think the part that matters is it gets an A. Obviously, it's stainless steel. It's not going anywhere, and everything else is a firm who gives a shit because you can right. do whatever you want inside this building. You didn't pay for any of it. You can change it. You can make it more complicated. You can take things out, simplify the path, and do whatever your heart desires, and you'll be fine up here as long as you stay on the water tower. I would call it an A minus or B because the catwalks are still a reasonably large part of it, and they do not have the health to stand up for it. They're not necessary for the survival, and we didn't pay for them or put them there. Mm. You see where I'm going? You can do this whole night from up top. You guys just chose not to. There's no reason you need to be down on that catwalk. It doesn't need to be there. Except but to where we're actually gonna do our clear turn. off the base. A few minutes later. I don't feel like it needs it deserves a third grade reduction for that catwalk. I am not concerned about that catwalk. Do it in an A minus then. Eight hours later. I'll side with Davian on this one. What do you two think? I say A. Cat, the catwalk is... Duel is the deciding vote. Hang on, man. I don't like this. Uh oh. Thomas Fuck. Interesting. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> no. what did we do? Do I hold all of the power? <laughs> no. Oh, fuck me. Do I get to decide when this video ends? What were the choices? Three weeks later. Final grade <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> Player danger. Uh, that's a that's a I, I think a good there's a case for an A there. I mean we weren't in any really danger. Yeah. The spit was a little yeah. obnoxious at parts, but nothing that we don't see in other builds. I never took any big hits. Davian fell off once and had to play with the Zeds for a little bit. The only danger we were in is to whatever danger we put ourselves in. Like when I was down in the doorway board shooting them with a shotgun, I was taking some hits. But other than that, yeah. are the Zeds controlled? No. But not that's part really? of the spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> They're not, yes. but it doesn't matter, and that's kind of intentional. They get so hung up in this building, they're doing their own thing, yeah. they're not coming at us. If we're gonna standardize here and be consistent, the Z control on this is not applicable. It doesn't yeah. try to do anything, it just lets them do their thing, and it lets them do their thing far away from where you are. Resources used is not applicable, we didn't spend any gas or power. Ammunition, I used 1,007 rounds. Nev? 2,000. Davian? 1,357. Duel? 552. And X? Spaghetti? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 1986. For the evening, that gives us a grand total of 6,902 rounds. Davian, how much junk nice. turret ammo did you use? Right around 4,500. On brass ammo, that puts us into B territory. Now, I think based on that volume of junk turret ammo, it would be worth scaling that back down to like a B minus. Junk turret ammo is cheap, but it's not free. We ended up doing a lot of the work on this base because nothing else was really killing them. You could do some dumb stuff in the run-up to your horde night. You could fill this parking lot with spike traps. You could trap up that building. You could do all kinds of crazy wacky nonsense. If you want to introduce ways for this place to damage Zeds, you have a lot of opportunities to do so. Cheese! I don't see cheese. It's stainless steel, but they're the, the pimps are the ones who put it here. We didn't. So it's fun pimp cheese. Pimp cheese! I'm gonna have to Photoshop pimp cheese of some kind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is X doing this, the flying tree <laughs> motif right now? <laughs> A chance to patch. I feel like maybe they missed this stuff. They got yeah, rid of stainless steel pretty much everywhere else. If it exists anywhere else, I haven't been able to find it, and it took me forever to find this one. This is pretty much the last game in town, so that leads me to think that it was an oversight on their part, which means yeah. it's probably not very long for this world. Final grade. We wanted to test to see if it would hold up to a multiplayer horde, and it did. It held up to multiplayer hordes, better than some very heavily designed bases that we've tested in the past. This is 100% viable, especially if you're solo. You could probably spend the entire game doing your Horde Knights off of one of these things. So wait, are we riding the duration out on Reach's Giant Shaft? Based on how this did, I will ride Reach's Giant Shaft as long as he lets me. For some reason, I think that's not going to be very long. I don't know. Oh, we don't know. Maybe he likes to party. Don't judge. It's 2022. He's never going to team up with us for nope. anything. There goes all nope. Uh, there goes all of our collab options. It's done. Either that or he's going to love us. Is it the right kind of love? It's love like duel with Blendy. We don't talk about it. We're going to fill Reach with a week old uh, Italian wedding soup. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no one is ever going to collab with us. Final grade, I think this place gets an A. 
and it gets an A with a sort of WTF face behind it because god damn this is right up there for me with the cube it really invalidates yeah. a lot of the effort people put into design and survival in general because here's just this random ass POI that the Zed hordes will probably never be able to take down you could spend the whole game up here basically just beaten off inside that little box there and you're good to go coming up next week we've got another POI we want to take a look at but it's the opposite of this this next one is far from indestructible and we actually did some work on it to make it a little more viable in the end game but what we want to do is kind of compare and contrast the no work required POI versus the hey we're going to modify this because it presents a really nice platform POI and see who comes out on top that one has its work cut out for it because this thing is broke would you say broke dick uh, <laughs> yes he would are you mad that i made the joke or mad that you didn't a little from column a a little from column b as always thanks for watching everybody and we will catch you next time was i what i fistered yes you were it's the, i don't even feel it anymore oh god <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just like a tube of circus penis i don't even feel it <laughs> like it, it's just like, dog, like, like, far, it's just like a, i mean like a clown's oh. pocket Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs>